Hello everyone, Max with A1 Website Pro here and today we're going to do another Ajax tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we're going to use two different form items using multiple forms on a page, but we're going to use one processor file. So this is what you're going to learn. If I put my name in here and then my buddy's name here, Clyde. If I, tell you, if I hit go, you'll notice this UR changes to my name. Okay, and then if I hit go on Clyde, of course, Buddy's Clyde. Okay, so you could just imagine, you know, you could pr do a bunch of processing on the processor.php page. So that's what we're going to learn. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. We're going to start with uh, the bare bones HTML, and this is about AJAX with multiple forms and one processing file in the PHP. So you notice I got my tags all in place. I'm going to go right inside here inside my body tag, and we'll get started with these forms. So <laughs> And I'm going to explain this to you one at a time. So let me pop in the form here. So the input type is text. Now with Ajax, I do not need a form tag. Okay. I'm going to give it an ID of name, a size of 50, and placeholder of name. You know, that's that uh, little thing right here whenever you first load it, load it up, has name and then your buddy. So that's what the placeholders are for. And uh, so we're going to create a button. The type is equal to button. The ID is not important, but we'll just call it sub for submit. And then on click, we're going to call this Ajax post function. Okay. And then we're going to ha have go in there, then button, and then a BR tag. And then right underneath here, we're going to go ahead and put in our status div. So whenever it comes back, it's going to echo out into this div ID of status. And it's going to replace this text with whatever you put in, the, with the, whatever values in there. And we're going to close that div tag out. So let's go ahead and get the script for that particular um, Ajax post. And let me grab this here. And I'll pop it in. And let me close out the script tag. Okay, so now we've had a, a lesson on this before where, you know, we uh, go in and we put in, let me take out demo processor, just put processor.php. And it's going to grab whatever value is in, in this text, right? And it's going to go through the Ajax request. And then if everything is okay, you know, in the URL, we're going to use a post method grab the URL variable of processor and we're going to submit it and if everything is okay which that checks to make sure everything's okay if you need a deeper explanation see my earlier video and then we're going to go set another var of return data and we're going to get the response text coming from the processor file the document get element by ID we're going to target that status div the inner HTML and we're going to replace this UR okay so that's that's for that one form. Now, if I if I save this file and we uh, load it up, let's go ahead and just go to. Uh, we can see we have the one name in here. You know, right now I don't have the processor.php file uh, loaded up. So let's go do the processor.php file, and let's work on it for just a second. And basically, we're gonna open up with a PHP tag. And we're just going to echo out whatever that post variable was of name. So if I save that and we go here and uh, type in a name, we'll type in my name, and hit go, you can see that it brings back the data. Okay? Now, what if we wanted another form? So that's what this lesson is all about. We want to be able to use a couple of different forms. So let's go ahead and grab another form that I've pre-did for you. Copy. And I'll paste that in there. Now notice this one, the input type is text and the ID now we change this to buddy. Up here we have name, this one is buddy. That's the difference. The placeholder is your buddy's name. And then on our button that we created, we have a type of button. The ID is sub sub and that doesn't matter. We can make it whatever we want. We'll just put sub again for subscription. 
But now on click, we're going to be calling a different function, Ajax underscore post underscore body, okay, with our parentheses and terminator there. All right, so we have to create that particular script to call this function. Finally, we gave our button a label of go, closed our button tag, and put a line break here. So we have that uh, down there. Now let's go ahead and pop in our our second status. We'll just call this status2 in a div ID. And I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. So it's going to, this next function, Ajax post buddy, has to uh, target this status2 and replace this text for, with whatever your buddy's name is. So let's go down and uh, grab that function that we'll be, we're going to be calling. And I'm just going to pop it in right below this one. So I'm going to go after this curly brace, where that, that's where this function starts. I'm going to create two new lines, and I'm going to pop in this. All right, now basically the same thing is going to happen. All right, we're, whenever we click the button of go here, it's going to go out to the processor.php file after it calls this function, go through all the checks, but this time we're going to target that status2, okay? And status2 is going to replace whatever is in here. Right now it's your buddy is, okay? And then it's going to come back and display that. In an early video, I, I explained this a little bit better. Uh, the document dog get an element by ID status to enter to HTML is processing. So you're going to see processes processing real quick. Now it's real fast because I have PHP 7 on here and uh, it's lightning fast. So you might not see even see the processing. But let's go to our processor.php file and set it up to process that particular um, variable, which is buddy. Okay. So we're grabbing the post variable of buddy, and that is located right here. Okay, so we're grabbing whatever is in that document document element by, by ID, store in a variable called buddy1, and then take buddy1 and put it in this post variable. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And let's refresh, and we should see our other forum item. All right, so my name's Maximus McCullough, my buddy's Clyde hit go on my name you see my name comes back Clyde there you go so what if my what if my buddy was Fred if I hit go Fred comes back and you can see that processing real quick uh, I don't know if you can see it um, I keep hitting the button there but but you can see how data is returned and so in this illustration what we're trying to illustrate is that you can use multiple forms with one processor.php page and um, you can also use the if is set and uh, that's the other thing in PHP here if you go if is set okay then what we want to do is this here so if is set post name can echo out post name and then we could actually say echo my name is so what am I doing here I'm checking to see if this post variable has been set if it is I want to echo out my name is so I echo it out with my uh, quotation marks and semicolon I'm just gonna echo out my name and you could do that with this one too. I'm not going to do it for you because I'm going to let you do it and I'm going to post it in the uh, website just like this so that you can practice yourself. So let me go ahead and refresh this page. And then when you click go, you know, my name is Maximus McCullough. All right. And then you guys can do this one. My buddy's Clyde. You can change it so my name is Maximus McC My name is shows up in there. Okay. This is Max with 81 Website Pro. I hope this uh, tutorial has been beneficial to you.